math, science, history, all disciplines that can be learned through art. Today we learn about a nonprofit shaping the community through art on today's Daily Buzz. Today's Business Journal Daily Buzz is brought to you by 717 Credit Union. Not everyone is a natural born artist, but that doesn't mean that practicing art isn't worthwhile. It's just not art making. Uh, it's uh, art making teaches other skills. Uh, socialization, um, tolerance, uh, creative problem solving. Today we see how the Hoyt Center for the Arts has been enriching the community since 1965 in Impact Makers. Impact Makers is sponsored by Simon Roofing. Are you getting a general idea? This is the adult watercolor class inside the Hoyt Center for the Arts in Newcastle. There's light, there's mediums, there's darks, so we're trying to pull all of those out. Jocelyn Beatty has been teaching the class for 37 years. There's no rule. Karen Campman Emmett has been taking the class for nine of those years. It's just something for me that I wanted to do, to learn how to watercolor. Mm -hmm. Because I'm not really an artist, but I wanted to do it. On this day, the students are painting a fall bouquet. Other people come because maybe they um, needed something more to do in their lives. We have one woman who lost her husband and needed to be with people and something uplifting. Which is really the heart of the Hoyt's mission, says Executive Director Kimberly Collar Jones. To expand and enrich the life of the community through participation in the arts. Located inside two houses sitting on five acres, the Hoyt Center has been enriching the community through art since 1965. The Hoyt offers dozens of art courses throughout the year for people of all ages. We operate as an art center primarily uh, with classes and galleries and workshops and studios. Uh, but we also have concerts and school programs, after school programs, festivals. Uh, you name it, and we're probably involved in it somehow. What you have to the after school art program, which began in 2008, focuses on teaching children disciplines such as math or history through art. It explores all different in media, artists, genres, styles, uh, every two weeks. The free classes are held Tuesday through Thursday for students grades three through six. I don't just have one branch going up. Robert Presnar is the education director at the Hoyt. It's a continuous learning phase, although the kids, they sometimes don't even realize that they're learning this background stuff and they're having fun. These pieces of art were made using items that would normally go in the trash to teach the students about the environment. A lot of our things here are out and out challenges. You know, you have to use your creativity, your imagination, we're having fun, but they're also building the tools that they're going to need later on in life. These students are making trees out of paper and wire. It's fun, but kind of hard. I get to express my art here and do a lot of fun stuff. I like that I get to hang out with my friends and make art. What would you be doing if you weren't here? Laying on my couch watching TV and eating a lot of food. So it's better that you're here? Another program, Creative Play, is offered for children ages 3 through 7. It is a very hands-on learning approach. You see, the kids are making things and, and manipulating objects. The Hoyt also teaches programs in Newcastle Public Schools for those who can't make it to the after-school classes. And two years ago, the Hoyt opened this digital media lab where students take classes on videography, animation, and filmmaking. Other classes include baking, ceramics, lessons on instruments, and even language courses. We kind of stretch the concept of art. Last year, more than 6,000 kids were engaged through outreach efforts by the Hoyt. Total estimated attendance for all Hoyt programming exceeded 35,000, with no signs of slowing. Every month it gets bigger and bigger and bigger, and um, I you know, I don't know where, where, where the end is going to be. In addition to hosting classes, the Hoyt also engages the community through public art projects, such as this mural on the side of the YMCA in downtown Newcastle. Like many uh, Rust Belt communities, uh, Newcastle is looking to reinvent itself and revitalize. And often um, the way a community looks, uh, the beautification, the cleanliness, uh, the color uh, throughout the town are contributing factors to making people feel welcome and, and uh, safe. 
Uh, and so uh, we're contributing to revitalization efforts in that way. You can read more in the mid-November issue of the Business Journal or on our website on the Impact Makers page under the Videos tab. When you choose Simon Roofing, you gain both a reliable roof and roofing partner. Seven Seventeen Credit Union, a community-minded partner to help you succeed. Business loans, business checking, and business money market and certificates. Seven Seventeen Credit Union. We're a local business too.